Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Desmos Craft tutorial. Uh, we are continuing off from uh, from crafting a uh, from crafting a dog here. Um, uh, and uh, so, so last week uh, we we finished uh, crafting his face, and it took quite a bit of time doing that. Um, so I'm not sure how long uh, crafting its ears is going to be. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't take very long because it's counting one, two. Oof, yeah, come to think of it, it actually might. Uh, I don't see many equations, uh, but uh, this might take longer than I anticipated too. So I'm just going to jump right in. So, uh, so I'm gonna first going to start from the top. And this is looking like, like, uh, like a shape of, of an ellipse, or at least the shape that it's going to look. It's going to look similar to an ellipse, or at least related to an ellipse. Um, so. I'm going to start by centering the ellipse at, at the origin right here, and then I'm going to move it up to uh, move it up to four. And, uh, and I'm, I'm thinking about just moving it down by one fourth unit and partly down to stretch it up by another. Another quarter. Another thing that I'm going to do is probably take a stretch by some, by some number raised to the second power. We want to stretch it until we find the number that we're looking for. And this seems to be a pretty good number to work with, so we go with this one. A 0 0.351 is what I'm getting as my intersection. So I want to say x less than 0 0.351, and x is greater than 0 0.51. So what this does is that it's going to take account for both sides of the ear, so we don't have to draw twice. Um, and next shape that we can go for, uh, this is um, so I guess this is the part where my sloppy drawing is backfires at me. Uh, you're seeing it happening right now, um, but but uh, that doesn't mean that we can't find in, in uh, an equation that's going to fit what we want. So to be slightly creative with this. So for this part right here, I'm thinking of some kind of cosine inverse or sine inverse. Um, let's see what they both look like. Uh, right, so y equals cosine inverse of x perfect um and then you know, this is this is one okay so we just have to and this point is 2.375 so i guess i'm going to start by shipping it over about that and <clears throat> This looks like it needs to be uh, shrunk down by a little bit. So its y value is 2.75. So I'm going to minus 0 0.75. All right, well, we can start with that. Okay, we probably want to make this graph a little bit smaller. Uh, so we start by Scaling it down by one fourth. <laughs> uh, it looks like it needs to be pressed down a little bit more. Let's give this number a try. 
a bit too much. Now it's going to 0.625, and then I'm going to just push it up a bit more. Okay. Iteratively finding the optimal graph. Let's see, pattern clock on. One, one, two, five. That's good enough. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, this, and then we need to shift this in. Push this in. And then now we need to shift this over a bit more. Shift this to the left now, so plus we need to shift it to the left. Um, uh, this looks like it needs to be intact. No. <laughs> See if I can get what this value is. Oh, 656. Six, okay, this looks like where I want it. Uh, I'm not going to like mess with this any further because, uh, again, like, um, to keep reminding yourself that, that since this is a hand drawing, uh, we're just going to approximated to the uh, to um the level that we want it to be at um and then see so can we finish this off in one sweep and uh i think it is possible with i want to give the sequence a try i want to give a circle a try more like an ellipse rather. So we center at zero. And what is it about, and what is its y value? Okay, it's y value. Uh, I would say one point one two five. I'm not sure how, but uh, oh, it, it very well maybe. Um, and I'm going to stress by that much. And I'm just going to simply stretch it over to where that is. And manipulate these values. This is where I'm going to leave it off at. Um, 2.05. We'll leave it at this level of to uh, to this de to this degree of approximation. So so if I uh, turn off the visibility of the picture, um, you can see that it's not that so uh, that it it came out pretty nicely. Um, considering uh, what we had to work with, which is a poorly drawn, like, I, um, and then uh, and the rest is just reflecting it over. So uh, once, I, once I do that, I'll just, I'll just uh, con conclude on that note. All right, so the craft is officially done. Uh, I mean, like it, it can definitely use some color. Uh, 
I'm not going to do that uh, um, because uh, I don't want to spend too much time on it. And uh, because that's this is already part four. Um, also, uh, so so if I haven't said already, I want to tell you again, which is that uh, I have and due to the amount of commitments that I have over the summer, uh, I I am not going to be uh, releasing any new videos, but uh, I will be uh, be taking suggestions and. Uh, um, just maybe I will, will upload uh, some suggestions if I, if I get like so if I get if I get to, like the amount of people that I have if I get like so five suggestions of the same graph would be considered a lot. In fact, um, actually it would be better if I would much prefer it if just one person suggests a graph and if there are agreements with that one, uh, just thumbs up that one instead of just. Can you read the comments so I don't get like 10 comments saying, oh, can you, can you graph a cat or can you graph, graph a, a horse? Or, um, that's that's going to flood my inbox and I don't want to parse all that. Uh, uh, so, uh, so that said, uh, maybe I'll, I'll uh, um, see you guys over the summer. If not, um, see you again in the fall.